Hello, and welcome to this how-to series for Psycho Experience Commerce. My name is Rob Earl, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the different analytics and reporting data that you get out of the box with Psycho Experience Commerce 9. This builds on top of the basic analytics principles that are included in the Psycho platform, and that is both a, a macro overall view of the interactions across your site, and also a micro level deep dive down into how each individual contact has interacted with you. You can see I've loaded up the site called Launchpad. And first of all, we're gonna look at the overall view of the interactions on the site. So I'm gonna jump into the Experience Analytics section. Now, when you install Psycho Experience Commerce, you get this new panel on the left. This section contains all of the commerce specific reports showing how your customers are interacting with your site. We can click on the Overview panel and here you get some high level reports covering some key metrics that most merchandisers are interested in. Things like the number of orders, the total order amount, which products are best sellers, which categories are most viewed. But you can also drill down further into each of the sections. We can view data on specific orders, the amount of orders that have been placed, including the largest orders, both by quantity and by value. We can see which products have been interacted with most. So how many product details are viewed each day. You can also see which products are the most viewed and which are the best sellers. Similarly for the categories, we can see the amount of categories that have been viewed and then drill down to see which of the individual categories are most popular. We can get reports on shopping cart activity so you can see which products are most frequently added or removed from the cart. We can also get settings showing how the users are interacting with your site. For example, which facets are used most often and which sort orders are most frequently applied. You can also see the search terms that people are entering on the site as well and the amount of results that those terms returned. But as I mentioned earlier, we can also drill down and view how each of our contacts are interacting with the site individually. So let's jump back to the dashboard. And to do this, we use the experience profile. Now here we can see all of the different contacts that have interacted with our site. I'm going to click on this one here, as I know I'd log some orders through them. Similarly to the experience analytics section, when working with Psycho Experience Commerce, you get this new commerce tab here. And this gives us all of the commerce specific data for how this individual contact has been interacting with the storefront. Again, we get an overview panel, which shows the amount of orders that the users placed at the site. We can also drill down and see the individual products. These are all the products they viewed, which ones they've added to the cart, and which ones they've actually gone through and purchased. We can also see some missed sales opportunities. These are products that the customer has either added to their cart or viewed several times but never actually completed through to a purchase. And you can also see their shopping cart activity, the lines removed and the lines added and also any lines that they've updated. So you can see you get a whole wealth of commerce specific reports inbuilt with Sitecore Experience Commerce 9. Hopefully that's given you a brief overview of the analytics data included in Sitecore Experience Commerce. Thanks for watching.